So some time ago, I released some software, which is this uh, panel within Mach 4. And this is to support the Avid CNC Z touch plate. This was ported from Mach 3, uh, which is uh, Visual Basic, into Mach 4, which is Lua. And I'll provide a link down below to a video that shows you how to download and install that if you're interested. Uh, this video is sort of for people who were interested and have either started using this or are interested in it. Um, I've had a chance to use the software a little bit, and there are a couple things that I didn't like about it, so I decided to fix them. Um, here in the UI, you can see this is the uh, status block that I added, and so this is a text widget that will provide some read-only text. It's basically going to be a little log about things that the uh, uh, tool is doing and I just needed a little more transparency. And the reason I'm doing this is because, at least on my system, with uh, I'm using the PMDX424, I'm sort of having problems uh, probing, uh, doing probing motions. And so I needed a way to debug what was going on, and so this is a change that was useful to me. So anyway, let's take a look at it. So I'm gonna enable the machine, and then we'll just add our data. And let's get to pause and then run. So that's pretty much it. Uh, as you can see here in the panel, uh, it was basically giving you a little bit of uh, transparency into what it's doing. And so there's a start and an end block here uh, for each time you cycle the run button. And um, it's essentially telling you either the success or failure of each of the pieces of G code that it's submitting to the Mach 4. And so here we can see the first one is F10, which changed the feed rate to 10. And then the first, uh, the next is the probing the z-axis, and then we retract, and then we pause to rotate the flutes for the x. So anyway, you can just see line by line what it's doing. And so the reason I was doing this is that I'm encountering a bug, basically. Uh, based on the forums uh, for PMDX uh, website, it seems like it might be somewhat of a known issue in that there may be some trouble uh, probing with uh, when you're using the PMDX424. So I don't think it's directly related to my software, but nevertheless, I didn't really like the way that uh, my code was handling the error. It was being very silent about it. And so uh, I also put now a guard on the run button so that when, when you, you can only press it once. And so it basically disables itself right after you press it. And I put a cancel button here and... Uh, I haven't wired that up yet. So, so anyway, let's take a closer look at this bug and uh, see if we can figure out what it's doing. In order to debug that, uh, what I've been doing is coming to Configure Plugins PMDX and then going to the Debug tab and then changing this from System to Motion Info and then Mach 4 Log Window. Pressing OK. And then come to Diagnostic Logging. We open this log facility. And essentially, we're going to enable the machine, press record, and run. <laughs> and of course, it's going to work. <laughs> so, cool. Um, at least I'm going to save that, and at least we'll have a successful log to diff against uh, when we encounter the error. Try this again. Oops. Clear this out. Go. All right. So let me stop this. So I'm going to save this one, and then we'll diff and try to see what happened. 
We've got a different error this time. We, we seem to have the no synchronized position from motion planner again, but now we have a can't transition from MDI running to stop. So that's a clue. So here we're diffing the two log files. Um, I'm using a diff tool from WebStorm, uh, which is kind of fancy, but there are some free ones out there. Um, but this is the one I'm going to be using. Um, so here on the left side, we have the log from the good run. And here on the right side, we have the log from the failed run. Um, I've decided to search here, and thus it's highlighted in yellow, this, uh, this uh, API call to G-code execute wait. So these are the G-code uh, commands that my code is issuing to Mach 4. And so the first one is uh, F10, which is setting the feed rate to 10. And so on the good side, we can see it's being issued here. And then on the failed side, it's the same. So uh, scrolling down, the next command is the command to, to basically probe down. So there's a G31 and Z-2 on, on this side. And then the same command is over here on the failed. So the, um, there are different distances, but that's expected. Uh, so then we see we're transitioning. The machine is transitioning from idle to MDI start. And then that happens a few log lines down. It, there'll never be perfect parity between logs as things are always going on. Um, and then we see we're transitioning from MDI running to probe. And same here on the failed side. We keep going down. And then I think at this point, we're actually starting the, the tool is actually moving. And these are the log lines that are, are reporting that. And so that's happening on both sides, which is good. Oh, here we see down here, this is input six. So the PMDX is reporting the input six and on my machine, that's the probe input. So I think basically the state of the probe we've touched and the PMDX is reporting that input six has changed state. So that's good. It means the probe's working. And so then we both seem to be transitioning from probing to probing complete. And that happens over here on this side. And then it looks like Oh, interesting. So on this side, we have after sync stop request motion. And then on this side, we have a lot of them. So we have a lot more and then we're followed by an error. So the PMDX is erroring, erroring out here. Too many discarded motion samples after sync. So for some reason that happened, I have no idea why. And then essentially mock enable zero, looking for sync position from motion planner. So basically this is the PMDX shutting the machine off. Basically it's, it's, it's basically disabling it. Um, and obviously that does not happen on the good side. And then we see that the good side is M transitioning MDI running to stop. And then that happens over here. And so it's interesting. So if we see from this point back to sync position, this is this call for sync position clearing planner. They both do it. But basically, these are the differences. So they both call sync position and clear the planner. And then this one quickly succeeds all the way to running, transitioning from running to stop. And then this one throws that error and disables the machine. So it's quite a big difference there. So it doesn't tell us why. I think the rest of this is just... It, it tries to continue. I think it issues the next command, which is to retract. And of course it can't because the machine is disabled. So basically stops. So I don't know. This doesn't seem to tell us anything we didn't already know. Um, maybe somebody more uh, knowledgeable about what PMDX is doing under the hood can uh, understand this. So uh, I guess when push comes to shove, I'll be packaging up this log and sending it to PMDX support, and hopefully we can find out what that is all about.
I do notice that uh, out on the uh, forums for uh, PMDX support forums that there are people, it's a known issue with probing. Um, there's a lot of, it seemed like there were a few posts that were related to this touch feature. Um, and if I go to that code, uh, this is the code that actually just launches the dialogue, and then this is the dialogue itself. So within this MC touchoff.lua file, people report tweaking this particular sleep num number, which is milliseconds of sleep. Um, obviously, I don't think that has anything to do with my issue. Um, but nevertheless, uh, that's something that I was aware of. And so, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll keep you posted. Uh, obviously, my goal with this uh, touch plate panel was to write generic code that anybody could uh, use. You didn't need to use the PMDX 424. And so I'm hoping that this problem is restricted to the PMDX 424, which I think it is. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll... I'll I think I'm, my goal is to continue with this little bit of a refactor. I, I've added a cancel button here that I need to uh, wire up. And in order to get that wired up, I need to change the way that uh, some of this code is being called. So basically I need to change it to use uh, what Lua calls coroutines. Uh, it's basically their, their version of threading and so that will be interruptible by a cancel button. Uh, that's why it didn't exist there before. But nevertheless, I don't think any of those things are going to change the, that, the problem that I'm experiencing. So if any of you know anything that I don't, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.